Hello everyone, DVCon here, and I have here for you today, uh, not a custom review, um, this is actually going to be my first, uh, just straight figure review, um, and, uh, this is for the Takara Tomy, uh, da 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 da, Takara Tomy Age of Extinction, uh, Deluxe Class Dispensor figure, aka the Mountain Dew truck, aka the, uh, Mood Whiplash truck, <laughs> yay, copyright laws, um, I'm sure Reaper labels will um, be super awesome and get some sweet stickers out for this guy. Super cool. Get some super fast. Get some nice uh, Mountain Dew logos for it. So that'll be awesome. Um, I can show off the uh, little, basically the back of the packaging that just kind of shows little character card, which I think is always kind of cool. I always keep them when they're like for my personal collection. There's this little bio that basically just says that he's, you know, it just goes over his story that you basically see in the first movie anyway. Hey, Allspark. Hey, Soda Machine. Hey, badass. And um, this, honestly, this is probably a retool of some other movie figure that I just don't know about. Um, so that, just, that may just be all it is, but I, I basically pre-ordered this as soon as it came up. And I was like, hell yes. Um, so, yep, uh, first part of uh, Transformation. Actually, before I get in, that's... Um, he does come with this little weapon here, little little soda can weapon. By itself looks kind of weird. And um, there he does have these ports on the either side that it does clip into, which um, can roll around like that, which um be kind of cool, I guess. I think it's kind of obvious that, you know, some of that giant soda can cannon just, uh, yeah, just, I don't know. Pretty obvious it's about to blow stuff away. But, um, oh, and one other thing, first part of transformation is to take this, pull it back and as you can see that does kind of make it look like just a straight soda machine by itself it's kind of cool that they did that just added a little um, paint apps or stickers on the top there that just made it look like a soda machine again I'm sure Reaper labels can do a much better job because they're awesome like that um, the next part of transformation basically grab the cab here grab the wheels of the other part and just separate the rest of the cab from the wheels just kind of wiggle it a little bit pull that straight up <clears throat> and so now you're going to take the wheels and um, basically where those pegs were are they're actually going to flip around and peg into the back wheels there on both sides and those will basically just become his arms here we go and uh, what am going to do next get the feet and come down split the cab here and fold those little tabs up and then just kind of bring the whole thing out like that and those basically become his feet oops thank you and let's spin those around and then this whole thing just flips up like that not quite as dramatic of a head reveal. Oh, let me adjust the camera there so you can uh, see what's going on. <clears throat> and so, let me get his arms in a place too. Bring those around. And with the arms, you want the wheels to be on the outside. And that's a uh, nice paneling there on the inside. And then just uh, kind of open that paneling up and flip his little hand out. His little claw like, I'm gonna get you hand. <laughs> And um, so this part's actually really cool how the entire back half of this transforms or just kind of folds up really. It's kind of shell forming, but kind of not. Um, so basically you're going to want to get back so you can kind of see. You want to split the whole thing and then it'll kind of come apart like that and then just fold the long parts inward. His head does kind of get in the way just a little bit. But there's a lot, a lot of hinges there for you to play around with, give yourself room. So once you do that, I'm going to fold it up on that hinge, fold it back on that hinge, and again, just based on the other things, you might have to play around with them just a little, because there's a lot of little hinges on hinges in there. Um, and then you can see he's a little off-centered, so you're really just going to take the whole thing and push it back. And he's supposed to have a way that makes this part tab down, it just doesn't hold very well. I mean, you can kind of hear that it's trying, but basically you can see there's that little tab there and it's supposed to kind of grab on that little lip there. 
it just um it does but it just doesn't do a great job of holding him perfectly in place and i gotta tell you i friggin love that head sculpt eh eh yeah i love that head sculpt it just looks super cool and we can get in there he actually has four eyes which again super cool love that head sculpt and um, unfortunately this does kind of just hang off the back it's because it's part of his gimmick where um, he can he basically just push on it and he does this big claw thing with his chest which is it's kind of cool but I'd almost prefer not to have it and just you know not have this <laughs> but it, it's still pretty cool I really do like the detailing on the center there and because of that, it does make balancing him difficult because he just he's very back heavy because of it. Um, but he does have really short, stout legs and feet, so it does kind of make up for it there. And um, this is yeah his uh, soda can cannon that you know, just it'll fit on either one of his arms. You see, he's got a peg right above either one. So all you really need to do is just flip out that and just store his hand back. And then just um, put it on there like that, yeah. And then he's got his little can in there. And yeah, the back panels tend to flop around, but there's nothing that locks them in place. But they kind of naturally, just gravity-wise, go back to the natural pose. So then, yeah, you got a nice little... I'm going to blow you up with soda look to him. And again, him being back heavy does kind of make it difficult to pose him, to balance him perfectly. But articulation-wise, he's, um, uh, yeah, shoulders will do a full 360 there in a ball joint. Um, shoulders also have a swivel joint there and elbow hinge. And the hands are on a ball joint, but it pretty much only lets you do so much rotating. Because anything else, you have to pull the whole panel up. But, you know, it does what it needs to, basically. And then legs, he's got the uh, da -da 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 -da, hip joints on a ball joint there. And a knee joint. Looks like that's actually a double double hinge knee joint. Or, actually, no. That's um, just one hinge, but that um, part of his knee pad kind of comes with it. It's really cool. And um, that part where you just kind of fold the cab up is basically his ankle not pivot, just his ankle, not even ankle joint, just ankle hinge, like toes up, toes down, toes up, toes down. Oh yeah, and uh, the instructions um, don't really mention anything about this panel on either side of his leg there. Um, it really just says to leave them as is, straight up, at least as far as I can tell. Um, I kind of like to tilt them down, they're on like a full little rotation there, which you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Um, so yeah, I just like to pull them back. It, I think it makes everything look a little bit more... Uh, a little more streamlined there but um yeah all in all he was um just an awesome figure um if he were just a normal stateside deluxe that was you know the 10 15 bucks that they're going for now i'd 100 percent be like grab him he's friggin awesome I, I love everything about him well except for the back heaviness um but um unfortunately since he has to car tell me they um did put a little bit more work into it so naturally that's probably why it looks so good um so he is kind of, I think he is going for around $20, $25. Um, still not bad, but that's basically a Voyager price for us, which does make it kind of high. But um, I, I really like him. I think he's really cool. And um, let's see if I can get him to actually stand on his own without looking totally stupid here. There we go. Arm down, be like, I'm going to blow you away. With Mountain Dew. I mean, Mood Whiplash. I mean, um, yeah. So, yeah, he is, um, honestly just a really cool figure all around. Um, I really wish we would have gotten this sooner, um, especially stateside. And, oh, one of the other things I do kind of want to point out here, the inside of his paneling has a lot of detailing in there. I mean, you can see there's, like, a fan in there. If I pull that up, you can see all kinds of, like, wiring 
And there's that fan. It's just crazy. And even on the inside there. Love it. Oh yeah, and that's supposed to store there. Keep that in there. So yeah, there's there's a lot of detailing in the mold. It's really, really nice. Um, now that I'm actually seeing a lot of it in person like those things, I might do a little bit of paint work on it. Just honestly, the paint work would basically just be uh, dry brushing a lot of the robotic parts. Um, other than that, everything else looks pretty freaking amazing on him. It's awesome that they actually got the like semi-mid-transformed logo on his chest and everything. It'd be cooler if it was the, you know, actual, like, transforming him actually gave the logo. But, you know, it's... We can't always do it. But still really cool. And hey everyone, you know, thanks for watching. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, follow me on eBay. That's where I'll upload all of my customs that are for sale. And uh, follow me on Twitter. I will just post frequent updates on, you know, what I'm working on, what's going on. I might do some pictures of um, just generic mods. Um, if I don't have the account when you're um, watching this, then um, check back soon. I'll have it up soon. I'll put the link down in the description and everything. And, oh, that's right. So, um, if I still had this to, to show you guys, I would um, put them side by side with my other soda delivery truck, uh, NukaCon. It was a custom I did a little while ago, oh, a year ago. Um, that was, well, Fallout's Transformers crossover where it was Nuka Cola delivery truck. And, um, I did sell him, so I don't um, have him any longer, but uh, if I did, I'd um, probably put um, Dispensor back here and probably put NukaCon about right here. So, um, hey, I did a video on NukaCon, so um, click here to uh, go watch that video, and it's pretty cool. Um, I apologize for any terrible lighting that may be in that video. It was before I got all this worked out, but... Um, Hey, check that out while you're at it, and um, thank you all for watching. Stick around. I will have more cool stuff for you.